So Shane Dawson has just been getting a bewildering amount of hate the last few weeks on social media. I mean, especially on Twitter with how cancel culture pretty much just runs things over there. Th there's pretty much just been no escape for him. He's been getting put on blast basically every other tweet you see. And don't get me wrong, without a doubt, he deserves some of the criticism he's been getting. The dude has made some pretty wild mistakes in his career, some stuff that you can't really just let go. But at the same time, some of this stuff people have pretty much been hanging over his head for years now. Now, with all that being said, it looks like stuff might finally be looking up for Shane Dawson because today he uploaded this video just a couple hours ago now titled Taking Accountability. And this video is pretty much exactly what the title implies. And right off the bat, as you can see, the video has 162,000 likes to 15,000 dislikes, which for a YouTube apology video is almost unheard of. Videos like this are almost always dislike bombed on the spot, so this is pretty surprising to see. It seems like he's actually getting a chance here. People are really listening to what he has to say. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this video here because based off the reception of the video so far, it seems like he's really taking a step in the right direction with this one. People are really, I guess, enjoying this and agreeing with what he says here. So let's see what all the hype's really about here. If you've been watching me for a while, then you know that I have done a lot of things in my past that I hate. That I wish I could make go away, that I try to make go away by, uh, deleting videos or untagging my Instagram things or literally doing whatever I can to pretend like those things didn't happen. Because yes, I apologize for a lot of them, but I'm 31, almost 32. Those apologies suck. I don't know who that person is anymore. Every apology video I've ever made has been a, from fear. It's, it's me sitting at home thinking the whole world hates me and crying and hyperventilating and then just turning on a webcam and just saying I'm sorry and then hoping people know I'm a good person and then it'll go away. And that is stupid. That is something that a child does. Now I've actually seen a surprising amount of hate on Twitter for that part of the video, but in my opinion, what he says there is actually pretty respectable. He's owning up to the fact that his past apology videos weren't very good. I guess in his older apology videos, he was really just trying to save face and look good for all his fans. You know, just trying to make sure he looked like a good person and not lose his career career over everything. And here he's actually owning up to the fact that, hey, those weren't really good videos. Those weren't good apologies and they weren't very sincere. So I think that's definitely pretty respectable. Right now is very much a time of wanting people to be accountable, wanting uh, punishment for people. And I agree. And that's why I'm making this video. I saw Jenna Marble's video and it really inspired me and felt like a sign from the universe that I want to do this. I'm going to apologize for a lot of things that I've done or said in this video. And if you don't accept the apology, that is 100% okay. And I think that's something that I, as I'm getting older now, I'm realizing. It's like, you can apologize, but you can't expect the other person to just forgive you. Like, that's... That's doesn't make any sense. Now, once again, we're off to a really good start here with this video. Shane has another solid W here. He's he's two for two so far. He's looking like MJ in the finals. He's undefeated. Now, he makes a very solid point here, which is the fact that in the past, he'll put out all these apologies, and if people don't immediately accept them, he says he needs a break and he can't handle all the hate right now, stuff like that. So he's definitely had a huge problem in the past with always expecting people to immediately accept his apologies and just, I guess, be on good good terms with him immediately again. So first, let's start with face. Face was something that I did a lot. Like I did it a lot on my channel and there is no excuse for it. There's literally no excuse. I was trying to be funny. Like I, all of that is stupid and wrong. And I put that onto the internet as an adult. And that is insane. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry to anybody that saw that and that also saw that people were lifting me up and were saying, you're so funny, Shane. Oh my God, you're so funny. Like, I, I can't even put myself in that head. I can't even imagine what it would be like to be black and to see this white fucking guy do blackface and the whole internet at that time being like, LOL, that's insane. And I am so sorry. I don't know how to even fully apologize because it almost, it seems like something that is uh, irredeemable 
or I don't know the right word, but it's something that I shouldn't even be able to get out of. I should lose everything for that. So here he addresses pretty much one of the biggest controversies of his entire YouTube career. I mean, anytime somebody brings up why they hate Shane Dawson, why Shane Dawson is canceled, you know, when you see hashtag Shane Dawson is over party on Twitter, stuff like that, this is always the main thing that they talk about, the main mistake he's probably made in his career. And really, he addresses it almost perfectly here. I, I don't know if there's really a better way he could have explained it, a better way he could have apologized. Apologized. He says it's something that's really irredeemable and he should have lost his career over it at the time I mean, I don't think he could have put it better than that. That was just that that's textbook It's something that unfortunately was accepted by the internet at the time that he was allowed to post And it seems like he's fully aware of how horrible it was and he's grown since then and matured and he realizes how Just horrible it was. I'm so sorry that I just was so thoughtless with things I was posting for so many years. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't, I wasn't thinking. I thought, I thought, oh, I'm in a weird category where I can say whatever I want. And I did. And now it's the biggest regret of my entire life. All of it. Now, even though my apologies in the past for all of these things have not been good enough, they've not been thought out, they've been... Uh, very fear-based. They've been not, not good at all. I do want to say, since I've apologized for those things in the past, I have made a lot of changes in my life. Changes in just every, every, every facet of me has changed. All of those apologies, if you accept them, thank you. If you don't, I 100% understand because there was a lot and a lot of that is stuff that you probably will never forgive me for. And maybe you didn't know about all those old videos. I 100% understand. I'm willing to lose everything. At this point, realizing how many people I've hurt or how many people I've inspired to say awful things or, or do anything awful, like to finally just own up to all of this and be accountable is worth losing everything to me. So there you guys have it. That video seems really sincere to me. It seems like he really understands what he's done in the past is wrong. There's definitely some areas where he's messed up in the past just tremendously. He's definitely done some pretty irredeemable stuff, but it seems like he 100% understands that. So let me know what you guys think about this whole situation down in the comments. And with that being said, that's where we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelaxYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.